Hello, I'm Dave, and on this video I'm going to show you how to paint a Dia de los Muertos painting, a uh, Day of the Dead painting. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, subscribe right now and click that bell for notifications. So sit back, enjoy the process, and watch this come to life. So I started this off with a blank white canvas, and you can see I'm just spreading some very vibrant blue and some, uh, some black on there but I'm, I'm mixing the black in with those blue spots so it's gonna be a little bit of a monotone uh, black when, when it's all said and done. I, I had just a lot of uh, paint there so I just ended up blending it all in together. If I had put less paint on the canvas it probably I probably would have gone with a little bit of blue um, on, on one side uh, and then blended it to black but overall, I just I wanted the blue to mix mix in with that black color, just so it wouldn't be a solid black. So if you saw it like in person, it wouldn't be like a really really dark black color. But it is it is dark. Uh, but I did want a dark background because the the subject is going to be a white skull, as uh, as you may know with the Dia de los Muertos uh, art. And it's going to be this white skull with a uh, with a bunch with a lot of colors in there, a lot of vibrant colors. So first, I'm getting the form of, of the skull together, and it started off with that round head on the top, and uh, and then you can see kind of just that strong chin on the bottom. This is going to be like a male skull, uh, and I painted white over that black, and now I'm painting just another layer of white here so that uh, those colors could stand out right on top of that. And I'm just adding that with more and more white layers until I got it as solid as I want. And then here, if you wanted to, if you're doing this project on your own, maybe sketch this out first with a black charcoal pencil. If you try a number two pencil, it's probably not gonna work on acrylic paint. I've had that issue before where the pencil just doesn't show up on acrylic paint. This, I started off uh, drawing those cheekbones with a paint marker. And I also do highly recommend if you're doing this project on your own, do it with paint markers, with acrylic paint markers or oil paint markers. And I have a link for where I get my paint markers from Amazon. I have that link below in the, in the description section. Uh, but it just makes it so easy. I've, I've been putting off a painting like this for years because I was just so um, intimidated by having to do all these small little, um, as you can see, like these pink uh, marks that I'm doing right there. And then the outline of those pink marks with that black marker, it, it would just be so difficult if I was just using a paintbrush for all this. So using these paint markers, it changes the game completely on this, makes this more fun and enjoyable, and I'm definitely going to be doing more of these. Uh, so this was my first attempt at a Dia de los Muertos painting, and um, I'm definitely going to do more. I'm going to do a larger one because this this canvas is um, it's a small one. It's like nine by twelve, something like that. And I am going to put this on my Etsy shop. So if you want to buy it, it's only going to be this one. Uh, one version of it, no prints. Um, I'm just gonna put it up there in the Etsy shop, um, and that link is in the um, description section below. But I am gonna do um, a female skull with like flowers, um, maybe a little bit more realism than this. This is a very basic because uh, I want to show you just how to do it very easily, very basic, and you can kind of just go about. Um, uh, there's no there's no real formula to it except you put the eyes where the eyes are, the nose where the nose is, and the mouth where the mouth is, and then you kind of just go and do put your colors in there that you like, kind of just move around and get these flower colors, uh, flower movement. Um, I put some hearts in the eyes, but you could do something else. You can see I'm doing a. Um, uh, black for the inside of the eyes but, but the heart is is the actual like eyeball and I and I outline that with a purple but it's gonna have some more uh, outline or, or even around that just to be very uh, uh, make it a celebration kind of which is like celebration of life 
and you can see now I'm, I'm using that yellow marker to go around the eye with just these kind of bubble um, these like bubble figures you can see right there and just doing everything on here you can just see where it would be a lot easier with these paint markers as opposed to um, using a paintbrush you just have so much more freedom and it's so so much uh, so much quicker and it dries a lot faster than paint coming off the paintbrush but I do also have that um, a heat gun I, I do recommend that I bought mine on Amazon for like $12 a couple years ago and that thing saves a lot of time where you don't have to sit and um, sit and watch your stuff dry or do something else while it dries and it just it saves a lot of time so you can see I'm just uh, doing some swirly lines around these uh, different color um, the different colors that I'm applying onto the skull I'm using a baby blue with a pink And I'll probably uh, make sure to attach or make sure to put uh, some complementary colors next to each other uh, more often throughout the the painting on the next uh, on the next version of this that I do down the road. But yeah, definitely if you're following along and if you're trying to do this as well, uh, get some paint markers. And um, also the benefit of having the heat gun when you're waiting for the stuff to dry is sometimes you don't sometimes you don't realize that it's not dry and then your hand gets on the the wet paint and then you drag that across your painting and then you have to go back and fix that let it dry and fix it and go back over with certain colors to fix where you accidentally drag some paint so that's that's where the heat gun would come in handy there. But I'm finishing up uh, some some design on the top of the head and doing an outline. I just did all the colors first, and then I did the outline with a black marker to make it pop out more. And then get some swirly lines there. Make it look more decorative, vibrant. And catch your attention. If you're walking by and saw it, you're, you, it would catch your attention. And uh, then I just decided to go back over the background and make it just a more solid black. So sometimes it doesn't end up the way I initially planned it, but once I saw the final subject, that's where I went with it. So here it is, Dia de los Muertos uh, painting. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching.